Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight, and I've had some thoughts on GTA Online. I've had some jaded thoughts. I'm going to share them with you because that's what you do when you're a YouTuber. You have some thoughts and you share them. See these cars? We were promised that when we stole these cars using that computer that we would be able to keep them. We'd be able to pay a fee or something like that and then keep them. That has not happened yet. It's, it's been a few weeks. Like, we should be able to do this by now. And I, I have kept these two cars, because it's, you know, this this is one of the new ones. If I can get that on a discount, and it could be the new Hot Coupe. We haven't seen Ruffy's full testing here yet, I don't think. The, um... And I don't think I have a Thrax on this account, so I thought, well, I'll keep the Thrax. And then the first jaded thought I had was, well, maybe this is what they meant by you could keep them. Like, you haven't sold them yet. You haven't broken it down yet. You can just look at them. But that's still, you know, that's that's kind of defeated by the fact that Yusuf tells us, you know, well, somebody tells us, was it Jamal? Maybe it was Jamal, so we could just pay a fee to get the paperwork changed and we could change them to ours and use them as cars. Then I had a more jaded thought, okay? You know what the more jaded thought is? What if this is a feature that they're going to add to GTA Plus. If you're a GTA Plus member, then you can keep the cars. Otherwise, you just have to break them down like all the other old gen kind of... We, we're, we're stuck with this, but GTA Plus is going to get that capability. Or maybe just next gen, but I think GTA Plus... Oh, see that? You can get more discount cars if you just pay your $6 or $7 or whatever it's going to be a month. And, of course, if you're a PC player like me, you can't even... You can't even break down and give them the money because we can't get GTA Plus. And then things got more jaded. That's where This is going to be the main upshot of this video. Let's go. It's double money on cars. Let's, let's get driving. Well, I'll give you this thought. You see, I was trying to figure out why why doesn't PC well, let's see why doesn't PC get this? Why don't we have How a Special Works? Why don't we have, you know, GTA Plus? Why can't we paint our cars in funky colors? Why can't we get the weaponized Ignis? But, you know, being an engineer by day, I had some thoughts on the structure of the whole thing. And really, all of those things came with the next generation. I'm going to call them next gen instead of current gen. I hate the current gen thing. Yeah, they're the next, you know. I consider PC a current generation thing. We're not old gen. But that all happened with PS5. And with uh, Xbox X1, Q3, 5, whatever they call them. I'm not paying attention to the consoles. Because I'm a PC player. And those weren't releases. Those weren't updates. Am I correct? I mean, I don't think... I, I think you had to buy the next-gen versions to get that. So there may not be any code in place to say, well, this is the update file you sent. This may only happen with a fresh install. So, I mean, I don't see why they couldn't do an update that was a complete fresh install. I mean, that should be a thing that's a possibility. People would complain. But let's let's look at what's more likely. What is more likely is to get how special works and to get the the access to PlayStation, you know, you know Plus, you know, whatever, not PlayStation, but the, or GTA Plus. Did I say PlayStation Plus before? I don't even know. It's all the same at this point. The, uh, <laughs> to get access to GTA Plus and all of that, you would have to buy a new version of the game for PC. You would have to buy... Uh, hi, hi, all Jamal. Right, bring the card in. We'll salvage the parts and get paid in no time. To, to get all of these updates, to get the next-gen version for PC, you would have to buy a completely different version for PC. And what's wrapped up in that? Well, it would certainly split the player base. Because it's a different version of the game. You wouldn't be able to play together. There's, there'd be no crossplay between PC and PC, which that's problematic, number one. But I think 
I think Rockstar has looked at it and said, would our PC player base be willing to spend another 60 bucks to get exactly the same game and a weaponized Ignis? And whatever that Torino kind of thing is. I forget. You know, the, is it the Arbiter? No, it's maybe. So would, they, would they pay 60 bucks for like three extra cars and the ability to pay us more money to get your 100-car garage and get some extra paint jobs and a couple faster cars. I think they looked at that and said, no, no, there's there's no market for that. Especially when you do this, you're going to be put into a completely separate category of players. So if you want to go, say, racing, well, there'll be all three of you. You know, the, the, you, 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 each side will lose. The people who don't upgrade will have fewer people to participate in the game with. Uh, and the people who upgrade will have fewer people to probably even even fewer people to participate with. And so it would just destroy PC basically. There'd be it'd be dead on both sides. So the only way you know we're going to get this is if Rockstar develops the patch, develops the update to give us all that. And bring us up to new gen without, without us having to pay, you know, the extra money to do all that. I mean, I'm, and I'm sure there's additional pressure from Sony and Microsoft, even though Microsoft is Windows. I mean, that's... Microsoft is banking that they can make more money off of the Xbox X whatever than they could off of PC players. People buying window, new computers so they can play a 10-year-old game. But people will buy, you know, their new their new console, even though they have a PC. I'm not, but I mean, you know. I'm a PC player. What can I tell you? So the best case scenario, I think, for PC is that we don't get it. I mean, I think... I, I don't see them with everybody, you know, at, at Rockstar working on GTA 6. I, I don't see them putting all that effort into creating a new version of this for PC. Even though it's going to be just basically, I'm guessing, the Windows, not the Windows, the uh, the Xbox version. That will probably just play nicely on, that was nice. A little bit, a little bit of action going on there. This person blocking me. Yo! Run away. Uh. I've always kind of thought that the HSW races would be unbalanced anyway, and you have to buy all new cars. It'd just be a headache. So we might as well just enjoy what we have. I think this is as good as it gets, folks. I think what we have here is what we have here because there's there's not a, a good market push, I think. Nope. I would... Would you pay for another game, an entirely new game now? Not like a $10 update. I mean, would you pay $65 or whatever they're going to charge you? All right, bring the card in. We'll salvage the parts and get paid in no time. Just to get, you know, how special works. And it's on the same platform, the same graphics, same missions, nothing added but how special works. I think I'd be hard-pressed to do that. I mean, if they, you know, and and if they don't charge, if they just give it to you, then all the, the PlayStation Five people and the and the Xbox X One whatever are are going to be like, hey, I had to pay extra for this. Why don't they have to pay extra for this? It's 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 just poison all over the place. So I think I think that's I think that's the nail in the coffin, gang. We're we're not getting how the special works. We're not getting anything that goes on here. Maybe we'll never be able to buy those because that's going to go to. To GTA Plus. But hey, that's just a theory! A GAME theory! And th my apologies for that really bad impression, but good luck to Matt Pat and his future endeavors. I don't know if you guys have seen that video. He's going to taper off as far as being the main host of, the, of all the theorist videos and let other people who've been working on the videos take over and, and shine, get their time in the, in the sunlight. I think it's, it's all wonderful stuff that he's doing. And he's still going to be doing wonderful stuff, bringing all kinds of good stuff to the internet. And really, how much of, of the internet 
how much of game channels and or any kind of channels, how many YouTube channels has he influenced? I mean, it's really hard to measure at this point, but really good stuff going on over there. I know it's it, it's changes and trials and things going on, but good luck and God bless, Matt Pat. You're you're doing good things as far as I can tell. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.